so guys our today's video as you can see from the title it was motivated from someone my friend told me my friend is not based in kenya i'm not i'm not going to say their names my friend is not based in kenya and they were like oh my goodness uh, i saw that importation is making people get millions people are getting millions from importation and 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 my friend was like monica if i can actually make that good amount of money then i need to leave my work now i need to leave my work from abroad wherever i am and come back to kenya and start my business hi guys and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is miss karinge and if you wish you can call me monica there is no problem at all so guys today first of all i want to appreciate um some unique people yeah number one of those people is those people who are new subscribers to my channel i really do appreciate you if this is your first time you know seeing me over here or you have just known me recently then i really do appreciate you for following me and actually subscribing to my channel my number two appreciation is those people who followed me from my previous channel as you know as you guys um as you guys you know that i had another channel known as monica karinga it is still there and if you want to learn more about importation there are so many videos that i did since last year okay so um i really do appreciate those guys because they followed me from that channel and then you have also decided to follow me on this new channel i really really do appreciate you a lot a lot a lot so i don't take this for granted and today if it's your first time joining this channel please guys make sure you like the video and also subscribe i will really really do appreciate guys i know you have had a look at our today's title and it's very very exciting it's also very exciting to me yeah it's very 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 exciting to me mm? very 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 exciting to me yeah imagine making millions of money from importation what else do you want what else do you want with this life or what else you know all of us everybody we all, all of us we want to make good money we want to make money very fast we want to make millions of money very fast and in in the easiest way possible yeah but unfortunately if you are looking towards uh getting easy money probably this video is not for you i'm sorry i'm sorry if i lied from you know if i lied from the title i'm sorry uh, this is not the video for you something that i can say is this in the importation business personally i have seen people who have become successful i have seen people who have become very successful from importing very you know small small items maybe the hair bands the earrings and they have become very very successful and i have also seen people who have who had good amount of money who decided to import in this business and they just failed miserably so my point is this importation it's not different i will not lie to you i will not lie to you it is not any different from either any, any any other kind of business the resources your input this is something that you cannot avoid it is it is something that you can you cannot you can never avoid number one i think importation business is very unique and if you want to make millions if you want to make millions of money then there is a way to go about it but you have to make sure that you follow these steps you have to make sure that you follow all these you know all these uh, points and make sure that you do not make a miss because if you make a miss somewhere then definitely you are out of business the other day i was thinking about how i became like super motivated to do importation my first trip to china this is when i was going to work in china i remember i went in this flight and um when i was in this flight i sat next to a kenyan lady and uh this kenyan lady i you know we, we went talking a lot of stuff and 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 she told me that she was going to china to buy some uh kids items and i really got motivated i was like why don't i have enough money instead of going to work in china why can't i you know go and buy my own stuff because this has been my dream and the lady actually motivated me a lot because she didn't have a lot of money but she was you know she was like really encouraging me yes monica you can do this you can do this you can do this unfortunately i lost her contact but the good thing i really do appreciate that the seed that she did plant in me 
because through the journey she was talking about the business and how easy it is to make money and she always make three trips in a year and i really really, really got motivated from this and one of the things that they did stand out through this conversation with this uh, Kenyan lady, she was more insisting on quality. And uh, she was really telling me one of the reasons why she prefers like traveling like maybe three times in a year, it's because she wants to get unique stuff and also get quality stuff. And she told me that as much as, um, you know, as much as, you know, taking a flight all the way to China now and then might be expensive and this definitely will make her product look expensive. But she told, she told me that um, she really insists on quality. Well, uh, maybe things now are different you know it's very difficult right now to to travel to china as much as i i know uh this week there was you know the government of china brought to an end uh to zero COVID, uh what is it called brought to an end the zero covid policy which has been existing for quite some time but we do not know the implication yeah we do not know the implication of this of this action and probably it is not uh promising it is not promising that the situation is going to get better and uh, as you guys you know i also do teach english on Online. and um one of my students is actually chinese and um he is based in shanghai and i remember yesterday we were talking together about the how how their government said it to to bring an end to zero covid policy and one thing she to, he told me was that he's really much afraid of the situation because um <laughs> They have because there are so many cases there's so many cases of people getting infected and they're not sure of how the economy is going to be so as much as we insist on quality as much as we do insist on quality then there are other ways for you to get um, a good supply who is going to give you good stuff so guys for you to get these millions for you to get these millions what has the what are the major stuff that you should be looking on to number one is what i've talked about a product it's about a product uniqueness and it's about a product a product uh, uniqueness and a product quality you know every time you have quality stuff people might quote you as being expensive but they are sure well his or her product are you know they are of great quality okay so uh, apart from getting uh, so apart from getting good quality, then you need to get some unique items. You have to get a, some good, uh, you, you need to get some unique items. So it's quality and unique stuff. And if at all you need to know some nice products which you can actually import from China and which actually are going to make you good money, then you should check a video that I did next time. Uh, probably I'm going to leave it on the description box. And if I'm able to attach it over here, somewhere here or here below, then I'm going to attach it, okay? Then something else, as we talk about making millions from importation, making good amount of money from importation. I said before, I have seen people who are successful. I have seen people who have become very, very, very successful in importation. And I've seen people who have moved from up there to zero because they did miss somewhere. Don't you dare, don't you dare say that you have your 300k, your 500, your 1m. And you decide just to import blindly. You decide you want to import a whole container blindly. Don't dare do that. Can you start with samples? Start, start with samples. Yeah, start with samples. And if 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 at all it's something which you are doing, probably locally you have your own business. You are selling shoes. Then starting start, starting with samples will help you with um getting to know your supplier. Does they have quality products? What kind of product do they have? And are they you know? can they be trusted because that is the most important thing can they be trusted okay then if at all it's a new business which you are starting in samples then it's a must samples it's a must because you as much as i know you have done research you have done a, a research on what what actually can work for you sometimes you might think that something which you maybe you, you saw it working somewhere else is going to work in your own country or in your own geographical location but then you come to realize it is not working at all so you need to start with samples start with samples sell samples yeah and uh, when you're talking with your suppliers and maybe you tell them you won't start with samples don't don't you know don't entertain a supplier who is going to tell you that oh you know what we don't sell samples mm -mm. 
and maybe they insist no you need to meet this moq and the moq we have it's 500 moq is minimum order quantity <laughs> i still need to insist that because i'm saying sometimes i'm speaking about some terms which some people they do not know what they are okay so if you want to make good of them good amount of money you need to follow the steps that i have actually given you you know i have given you proper guidance on on my on this channel on how you can import if you can decide to sit down and watch all these videos and much more that i'm going to you know that i'm going to make then it means that you are going to become an expert in this field i might not know everything actually i do not know everything but the ritual i know i'm pretty sure that it's going to help you in your importation business then we have the product yeah this is the final step and this final step it's very very important you already have the products you know monica has guided you you have watched all the videos yeah if you needed to pay for consultation you have paid that consultation and you have successfully imported your pro your product you have successfully imported your product there's something else that needs to be done there is something else that needs to be done Mzigo nisawa imefika. But that is not the end of it. How are you going to sell this product? You need to invest a lot on marketing your product. If you have a shop, you need to market your products in your shop. The customer care services that you have. And apart from having just a physical shop, you guys should understand in which area you are. You need to market your product on social media. You need to market your product on social media. Personally, I might not be an expert on guiding you on how you can, you know, you can market your product on social media. But one thing I'm sure of, social media is very powerful. Hmm? Social media is very, very powerful. And, uh, you know, when I came to know about how social media is powerful in terms of selling stuff, I will tell you this. It is after I came back from China and I went to the village, I had my shop back in Nyahururu. Yeah. So, uh, during this time, I thought of coming to Nairobi. I had just received Amzigo. Um, yeah, a package, a package from China, yeah. And when that package arrived, I was I was staying at my relative's place, by the way. So I decided, uh, by the way, let me just post uh, these shoes. You know, I just took the pictures and the pictures that I had gotten from, you know, the, the professional pictures that I had gotten from the supplier. And I went on Facebook. I went to so many platforms. I don't know if it's Kamukonji, I don't know Kidurai, I don't know whatever. All these groups you find on social media. And I remember it was very early in the morning, maybe around 6. And I had received the, the rugged like yesterday. Yeah. So um, when I got this, I said like I want to post these pictures in all these groups. I posted, I posted the price, I posted the sizes and I posted, I had not posted my contact. I had not posted my contact. But I posted all the other details, the sizes, the colors, and everything. So I did post in so many groups. And then after that, I decided to go to sleep. And I slept. And I woke up around 8. When I woke up, I never thought of, like, checking, you know. It's only that, you know, you know, it was like uh, the way you just post and just let things be. So I woke up and, you know, I took breakfast and I continued with other house activities. And I was busy sorting out the shoes and blah, 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 blah. You know, trying to check how they are. Then I said, oh, by the way, let me check on Facebook. When I got to Facebook, like I was shocked. You see my inbox, my inbox, the messages were, the messages inbox. Is this how we call it? Yeah. The messages were full. So many messages. How much is it? Your location, your contact. Those were the kind of questions I was getting. Yeah. Then, you know, on Facebook, you also get notification up. The notification were so many. And I clicked on one of them. Do you know what was reading on the comment section? Oh, ask Kama. How much is it? She's not responding. She has not provided her contact. She has not done what. And it was so much overwhelming. Before I responded to all these messages, you know, it was too much for me. Yeah. So I was able to communicate with some people. She had my contact. Do you see the same same day and the following day? Yeah. If you could, you could see me going to town to do deliveries. There were so many because for the wholesale i had given a, a, a minimum order of three pairs so people could order from three pairs and above six pairs some people they just buy them for their own you know for their use others buy them for the for their businesses if you could see me carrying the big i think paper bags the bags 
it was so huge for me you know i i don't have a castle i was just talking by food it was too much for me i was doing the rivers the rivers in kisumu i don't know lord i don't know mombasa all these places and that is when i realized oh my goodness i have never thought of selling anything on social media this is when i realized that social media is powerful so when it comes to marketing you need to do an extra research i'm not an expert on this but you need to do an extra research and become active on tiktok become active on facebook you are going to make sales from this platform so, so guys today in our chinese corner or our mandarin corner this video because it was motivated by my friend i want to teach you how to say a friend how do you say friend in chinese you say pangyo pangyo so this video was highly motivated by my friend who the pangyo you say pangyo in Chinese. Guys, until the next one, bye bye and zai jian. Don't forget to subscribe.